Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. I have had a lot of requests about doing some videos on uh, some more Adobe InDesign tutorials. So in this tutorial, I'm going to start from the very beginning. If you are a beginner and you're just now learning InDesign, how to create documents, how to create projects, this video will be for you. If you already know how to use InDesign, then you may want to go check out a few of my other InDesign videos, and I'll have a link in the description box on where you can do that. So first and foremost, this video is going to be about creating your first project. So when you open up Adobe InDesign for the first time, you will see this open panel here in which you will be able to see recent documents you have or projects you have worked on over here. And if you're creating a new one for the first time, you'll have the option to do so over here on the right. So the three options that you see here is document, book, and library. Now I'm not going to really focus on library right now, but I'm going to work on these first two, document and book. If I want to create a new document or what I like to call a new project, I will click on document. Now this next panel here is very, very important. Now what you want to do when setting up a document or a project within InDesign is understand where you want to go. Are you creating a program for a football team? Are you creating a magazine type layout? Are you just creating something for the web that you want to design within InDesign? All of this you need to know. So the first thing you're going to see is document preset is automatically set to default, which is all of these settings right down here. Now the intent for this document can be a number of things. Is it for print or is it for web? So if you're designing this to put on a web page, so this is a, uh, a web banner or a web uh, landing page, whatever it may be, you will need to change that over to web. If it is for print, like a magazine or a booklet or a brochure, you need to go ahead and select print. Now, if you do not know the number of pages that you want to have, you can always add new pages, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. But let's say you already know that this, this book or, or program, whatever it may be, is going to have 45 pages. You normally don't want to have odd number of pages, but for this you know, video's sake, I'm going to go ahead and leave that at 45. Now, do you want these pages to be facing? So is it going to be a magazine layout? So facing pages by having that box checked will go ahead and say this is going to be a magazine type layout where if someone turns the page there's going to be a page on the left and a page on the right. Now if you do not want that and you want it to be one on top of the other go ahead and uncheck, uncheck facing pages. I'm going to leave that checked for now. Master text frame. So if you have a text or a frame that you would like to have on all of your pages you select master text frame. I'm not going to do that now. Now if you'd like to start your page on a another page other than one, you can always go to the start page number and change that to say, you know, three or four or five, whatever it may be. And the reason why you'd want to do that is if you're designing a magazine or have a project in which advertisers or someone else is designing another part of the magazine or project. Now, what is the page size that you want to have? Now, within page size, we have letter, legal, tabloid, so we have all the normal stuff. Legal, I mean, I'm sorry, letter is the normal uh, page height and width uh, as far as if you're doing magazines or whatever it may be, but if you're working with a client and they say, well, I need to have this uh, into a, you know, 640 by 480 layout, you can go here and change that, and that is all measured in pitch pixels, okay? Uh, so you can go through here and change this, and you can even go down here to the bottom to custom page size, and you can adjust, you know, you can name this something like, let's say you're naming this, uh, you know, football program, okay, this is going to be the height for all the, pro or the, the size for all of the football programs that I do from now on, and you can adjust the height, the width, and even the orientation, uh, and I'm, what I mean by that is, will it be portrait, straight up and down? Or will it be landscape, which will be left to right? So that'll be an elongated page. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel on that now. And you can also adjust the width and height of each page right down here. And this will affect all of the pages within your project. Now columns, let's say you want columns within your pages. Again, whatever you do here will show up on all of your pages. So if all of your pages need to have two columns, go ahead and up that to two columns. Now a gutter is the distance between the exterior of your page. So this is one point or one pixel here. If I adjust this to two or three, I'm sorry, or one, you know, two or three, it will adjust the amount of space that is in between the edges of that page or the column in this case. Now your margins are very important. The margins are 
you know, automatically the same by clicking on this, you know, chain link here, uh, it will uncheck those and allow you to have different margins on top, bottom, and inside and outside. Now, normally you want to leave this at three, uh, but if you're doing a special project that requires you to adjust the margins, you can do so by un unchecking the little uh, chain link here and going ahead here and adjusting the margin width and height. Uh, the inside and outside is like the inside of a page and the outside of a page. So that's fairly self-explanatory. Now you can go up here to more options and go down here to the bleed and the slug. And this is, again is focusing on the amount of width and space between certain areas of the page and project. And you can again change this and play around with this by clicking on the chain link here to undo that. I'm not going to go into that too much today, so I'm going to go ahead and click on fewer options. Once you're done, you will just click on OK and your project will then load and will come up to a blank new project. Now if you want to create a book, you can click on a book here, uh, tell it where you want to save it and then go ahead and title your book. Automatically is saved as book one. And with within this, you know, this is like a book of projects or a book that you're doing within InDesign. And as I stated at the beginning of this video, if you have a document that you've recently worked on, you can go over here to the left and click on open a recent document and it will have all of your recent documents that you've worked on within InDesign. So guys, this is kind of a little basic tutorial on how to start your first project within InDesign. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments box below. Uh, if this video helped you out, go ahead and click on the like button, the thumbs up button. That really helps me out. And guys, as always, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more info like this, and I will see you guys next time.